So we are in Southwest Florida and it has been an extra hot summer here. So the, I have tried to leave the chemical balance of the chickens alone as much as possible. And I have the mindset that natural is better. So I try not to use chemicals, antibiotics, or anything other than natural sources to clean, disinfect, and help my chickens stay healthy. But over the winter, summer, we're in starting fall right now, but over the summer, their waterers have gotten very, very full of algae. And I don't think algae is a bad thing. I think algae is something that they see in nature that it's almost like a natural probiotic. I know it's not a probiotic, but it's a natural. If you take it out of their system, then they're not gonna learn to deal with it. Just like us taking too many antibiotics, we came immune to the effect or, um, you know, when we get inoculated with any kind of a shot to keep us safe from a virus, the vaccine that we're putting in us actually has traces of what's wrong. So that's what I try to keep the chickens around, the natural, na the natural nasty stuff, I guess, because, you know, dirt, God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. God made algae, algae don't hurt. So I try to keep them accompanied to it. But it is time now, and sometimes, sometimes I will clean their waterers and other times I'll just um, sometimes I'm just lazy I work hard I work full-time I take my kids to practices and sports and I take care of the farm and sometimes I'm just lazy so what I'm gonna do this time when I show you my waterers see they are really 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 yucky they are really really full of algae so what I'm going to do to help me, help break it down, is I'm going to put some apple cider vinegar in it. I don't have an exact measurement. I just do a splash. And I will do this about every, for the next week or so. And you will see a great difference in the way that feeders look. I try not to do this during the summer or during the winter because those are extreme weather conditions for the animals and their bodies themselves are just fighting hard enough to stay like in summer their coop sometimes this summer got upwards of over 100 degrees and I have solar operated fans in there and I do the best I can to keep them cool but they're really struggling to to stay cool in the summer and then I'm mean, even though we're Florida it does get cool sometimes um, to stay warm in the winter so I try not to do anything chemically different during the extreme weather conditions so now it's fall, the weather is beautiful here, it's about 75 degrees, and so the time is right to try to get the waterers cleaned up. There's the yucky nasty waterers that are full of algae. You guys can call me a bad chicken mom if you want, but I think the more we expose them to the elements, the more resistive they are to diseases. So we will check in in a couple of days and see how they're doing.